Hi, good morning, everybody, and welcome to our first uh, 3T talk, uh, Tucson Transportation Talk. We're really excited. It's our first virtual meeting. Um, we hope next year we'll be able to do this face to face. Um, but nevertheless, we're still very excited. We have two really fun packed days for everybody, um, and we're excited to be sharing some information about the initiatives that we're taking here in the city of Tucson. And we have some great folks that we brought in from other cities around the country that have kind of shared some of the practices that they have done, successes and failures that will help guide us um, as we move forward with our Move Tucson initiative. And you know, I'm, I have to just share with everybody, um, you know, I feel very lucky and very blessed to be part of the Tucson um, family. Um, I'm new, I'm two and a half years, but I feel like I've been here my whole life. Um, and I just, I love this community very much. And I have to attribute that to uh, Mayor Romero. You know, my, my second week on the job, she threw me in a car and she said, come on, Diana, let me show you Tucson. And it was great to have that opportunity to visit with her, hear her, her love and her passion for the community. Um, and at that time, she was, you know, um, actually the um, um, counselor over the Ward 1 office. And, um, and she was actually the first woman ever elected to, that, to the Ward 1 office. So, you know, to me, that was also another sense of pride, woman to woman. So, but it was just really exciting to hear her passion and her love for not just the community, but how she wanted to move mobility forward in the city of Tucson. And it's been exciting to be um, with her and be part of that vision as she moved into the role of our mayor um, this past year. And she helped us kick off our Move Tucson initiative over a year ago. So it's been a year. COVID got a little bit in the way, but we are still pressing forward and we'll be wrapping that up in April. But that is going to be our balanced, um, sustainable transportation system. And it's going to be really looking at the city holistically on mobility and how we move people versus how we move modes. So it's really exciting. And, you know, I'm feel very privileged and very honored that mayor that I get to be the one to say, you know, welcome, thank you for kicking this off for us. We're really um, uh, excited about your vision and what you're bringing to the city of Tucson, your support to the transportation mobility, by the way, thank you for our new name. That's council, uh, council member um, Lane Santa Cruz and you initiated the new name for our department and we've really have embraced that as a whole and really have dedicated at looking at not just the transportation side, but the mobility side of it. Um, and we are loving um, all of these um, opportunities that you're giving the department. And we're excited about bringing these new things to our community. So with that, um, I want to turn it over to you. Once again, thank you so much for kicking this off. We're really excited. And everyone, you know, um, I look forward to spending the next two mornings with y'all as we introduce a lot of different things about what we're trying to do here in the city of Tucson. So Mayor, thank you again, and I'm gonna turn it over to you. Thank you so much, Diana, I really appreciate it. I'm equally excited about your leadership at the Department of Transportation and Mobility. I'm very happy to be with you all this morning. I believe, sincerely believe that um, the vision <clears throat> of, um, of transportation, right? The vision of, of uh, being able to talk about transportation and mobility in the city of Tucson is more than just um, cars, right? It's more than just how do we move vehicles and people. Uh, my vision for transportation in the city of Tucson is to have a safe, just, and sustainable network that provides mobility options for all Tucsonans to get around. We're no longer thinking about transportation improvements, primarily um, in terms of big corridor projects or road widenings, but instead we are looking more comprehensively at how transportation affects the quality of life. And so that's why for me, um, as the mayor and then as the council member before, um, it was very important to kick off Move Tucson um, because it is our effort to align our transportation priorities and investments with the community's core values. 
which is why we've taken our time to make sure that we hear from as many Tucsonans as possible in this last year. Uh, the city of Tucson fully intends to use the outcomes from Move Tucson to guide how we invest in our transportation system moving forward. We are ready to pursue multiple potential funding sources, such as grant opportunities, state and federal transportation funding, city generated funds, and the Regional Transportation Authority to make Tucsonans' vision a priority. To date, we've heard loud and clear from Tucsonans that how we invest in the future shouldn't look like how we invested in the past. There is a strong desire in our community to make our streets safer for everyone, to focus on modernizing and optimizing the infrastructure that we already have, and to improve transportation by making it safer, functional, and accessible to every Tucsonan. As mayor, I'm continuing to fight to find these funds, to fix our roads, to improve our mobility, and to enhance sustainable connections throughout areas, throughout all areas of the city of Tucson. In the past 14 months, mayor and council have approved a $14 million investment to residential roads. We've swiftly acted on climate change and extended the suspension of transit fares throughout the end of June, 2021 to make it easier for people to use transit in the city of Tucson, especially during these times of pandemic. Tucson is the third fastest warming city in the United States, which means that the time to act on climate is now. And transportation and transit is a big piece of the puzzle on greenhouse gas emissions, and climate. So I invite all Tucsonans to complete the Climate Action Community Survey to kickstart the process of developing Tucson's Climate Action Plan. This input will help create a roadmap to reduce emissions, reimagine sustainability, and become a more climate resilient city. We're ready to gather inspiration, make great strides to act on climate change and to ensure the li livability of our city for future generations. I'm excited to look to the future as we continue to move Tucson and the region forward. Um, thank you for all of those attending the conference this morning, for all of those that put this conference together and thank you especially to our keynote speaker, Mark Fenton. Mr. Fenton is an MIT trained engineer whose passion lies at the intersection of public health, planning and transportation. And we are lucky enough to have him this morning. So please join him live at 9.30 a.m. today. I hope you all enjoy the day and contribute to the vision of our transportation and mobility vision for the city of Tucson today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor. Um, and so um, as the Mayor said, our keynote speaker is going to be starting at 9.30. Real quick, before we jump off, we're gonna have a little bit of a break before we kick in um, with our keynote speaker. I do wanna recognize our sponsors for to, uh, the next two days of, for today and tomorrow's event. Um, AC, um, EC is our key uh, sponsor and we want to thank them. They're actually the ones that are helping us host this event. So thank y'all very much. Um, SOMAS is our keynote speaker sponsor. So they're playing a real big part in helping us bring in these folks that are going to be really um, helping us understand some of the challenges as we move our Move Tucson initiative forward. I also want to recognize TEP, Razor, HDR, and Tierra Right-of-Way for their sponsorship in our breakout sessions. And then of course, at our coffee sessions, you know, we have Kameen Communications, People for Bikes. We've been uh, big um, partners with them for, ma for many years. We Design Group, Chen and Ryan, and also Kittleson and Associates. So I just want to do a quick call out to them and thank them for allowing, for sponsoring us and allowing us to put together this great program for y'all. So right now, um, Mayor, thank you once again. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day, everyone, and enjoy this. And I'll see everyone back at 9.30 for the keynote speaker. Make sure you sign in. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Diana. Bye.
Bye, Mayor. Thank you.